Now we're moving into the bottom half of the table, and these teams, we have no idea where they're going to be in the next two or three seasons. Yeah, there's okay. very, a lot of uncertainty here, so if you're going to commit to these teams, just commit kind of knowing that they could be anywhere. Definitely basically. probationary here. Yeah. Enthusiast. Just this is keep not, an eye on their this results. This is not a full-time supporter base here. Look, they, these teams could end up in the top half or they could be two leagues down. Uh, yeah, we don't know. It's happened before. So th- there's three teams now that are... Look, they're, they're competing. They're competing. They've come up recently from the championship, which is the league below the Premier League. And... They're giving it a good go, and if you're into those kind of teams, then these are definitely teams to follow. We've got Leicester, we've got Bournemouth. We've got Watford. Now, these teams are all new to the Premier League. However, if you like surprises, if you love surprises, Leicester City's the team to go. They won the league last season. And it's... Okay, you, you could be taken as a bandwagoner a little bit, but come on, mate. Leicester. I mean, Leicester. How can, you, how can you resist? They were basically... Dead on favourites to get relegated the season before they won the league. They ended up in 14th after a really good string of results. They just kept it going and yeah, they caught everyone with their pants down and, and they won the league. This season not doing so well, but they won the league. They Come won on, the league. They yeah. That's got to. That's the thing, and that's what's what we mean. We don't know where these teams are going to be at any point in time. And Leicester have been everybody's second team. But you know. But that's uh, that's 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 that's, 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 that's that's the best reason you can think of for going for Leicester. Uh, Burnhamth, on the other hand, another team has just come up last season. Now these guys are battlers. They're right? real battlers. But, but they will give you 100 percent effort in every game they play, and it's a team that you can really get behind. Yeah, they're more or less a championship side, so made up of players that would yeah, normally but, be in the division below. But, but making good signings and really building their team, getting getting stronger each season, and playing as a team. That's it. They're, they're playing so, as a team. Their strength is from their the team. Yeah. They, they don't have any flashy individuals that get them across the line, and they're doing well. they got some upsets yeah, already this season. They're doing very well this season. Last season... They probably struggled a bit to get to get there, but but, but they, they were first, comfortable. They were comfortable. The first season yeah. in, and they they survived. A lot of them, a lot of people tipped them to be relegated. Yeah, for a promoted team like that, they they were quite comfortable, and in mm. the end, got by. Along with them came Watford last season. Now Watford are a bit different to Bournemouth. They yeah. they signed a lot of players. They did. <laughs> they signed a lot of players. They got a manager who can't speak English, and. You don't know what you're going to get with Watford, do you? They, they're, hot and, they're a hot and cold team. They're hot basically. and cold. They're, they're, they, they had some good results this season and last season. Yeah. It's like the opposite of Arsenal, basically. If you don't like consistency and you want to be unpredictable and you love unpredictability, <laughs> Watford is your team. If you want those highs and you can handle the lows, Watford's the place for you to go. Alternatively, of course, uh, between these three teams, you've got a choice between red, blue and yellow. Yeah, what was your favourite Pokemon game? Then that's maybe you can go by that. So that's our guide to the Premier League for 2016-17. Hope you found a team in there somewhere if you didn't already have one. And uh, of course, if you did, make sure you keep track of what's going on in the Premier League with our previews and reviews. But thanks for watching, and we'll catch you for our preview review on Friday. Well, see you then.